RDDA adventure or RDDA tutorial. Today we're going to show you how we scan in uh, connect and export a solid model for printing. Okay, directly from from uh, Desbas Arona Connect. Um, the libraries we set up with our patient Dimia is the lower jaw, the upper jaw, and the buccal bite scan, which will correlate the two STLs correctly for what we need. So we're using the prime scan today. And um, what we're going to do is just scan the upper jaw and the lower jaw as we say. We always start off keeping the uh, teeth as dry as possible. I'm left handed, I'm working in a right handed surgery today. But at least we can see good retraction and good dry feel. And it's also important when we're scanning that we do manage to scan the um, soft tissue as well around the teeth, not just the teeth themselves. Okay? So, Pen mode. So we watch the screen. So you'll see in a lot of uh, adverts for scanners about speed of scanning. Speed is not important. Correct scanning technique is important and most scanners will give you a good scan in a fairly rapid time. The only nice thing with the prime scan and the confocal scanners is that we can achieve very nice soft tissue scanning uh, and very quick pick up by the uh, deeper field of depth we have with the prime scan. Nice. A couple of spots there we want to finish scanning. And that's the top tool done. So soft tissue extension. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a few millimeters around the actual teeth as well. And that'll allow us to get a nice export for the uh, STLs we need to print. Okay, so always good to start on the occlusal surface if we can. T. the nurse just to retract the soft tissue for us, just the tongue's getting a little bit in the way, thanks now. Just to move that out of the way, thank you. So one of the nice features of the software is it will automatically delete 
data when you rescan areas where there might be some data over the tooth. Just sort out the, the right hand side, the left hand side as well. Just hold that for me for one second. Okay, that's beautiful. Relax your tongue. Let's see if we have a little bit of uh, data there. And then the last thing we do is just a buckle bite scan in the centric relation uh, position. Um, okay. So what we're going to do next is the, uh, the dual buckle bite scan. We scan one side and the other side to make sure we stitch those STLs correctly. Okay, we're biting together. The computer will then run an algorithm to produce our STL CAD models for, directly from the scans that we have taken of our patient. In this stage, one of the important steps to consider is the edit model phase. Once we have the CAD model created, we then edit the model and trim off all the excess scan material that we do not wish to produce in the 3D model and try and level it off to get a nice extrusion to allow a good closed STL um, of a 3D model which can then be printed. In this step, it's important that we orientate our model correct. We set the axis correct and the orientation and the plane of the model in order to ensure the correct export of the 3D model. Our final step is to export the model as a closed geometry STL, either to a Dropbox folder, USB key, in order to send that file directly to the printer software. So what we're seeing here is the direct um, import of those STLs from Connect as a closed model directly to the slicer software. Just look under the date. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, both of those, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on the wrong printer. That's okay. Just change the printer quickly. Is it on? No, no, just on this up arrow. And then you look at Saturn, yeah. Lovely. Just turn over to make sure. So the green indicates it's seating correctly on the actual build platform. And we're going to get those printed now. Slice. And save. And that sliced uh, file then gets taken to the 3D printer and the models are produced. Thank you, Nick.